Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Angle Video, and this is gonna be the 21st video in the series where I'm gonna show you guys today how to add SAS Laravel Mix and NPM to your WordPress custom theme so we could override the custom variables that basically Caruso, like a bootstrap Caruso, could have. Like, as you can see here, the uh, background has changed compared to the old one here. So, if you wanna just change the background color to blue, for example. We could just do that all right control save that and then refresh that it's gonna be blue why because basically our app.scuz and app.js are basically compiled through this Laravel mix and then done as a minified version over here in our app.css so if we change again the background color to black control save that then refresh over here you could see that the app does CSS has changed accordingly to the change that we have done over here. So basically any styling that you're going to add over here is going to be minified into this app CSS in this new distribution folder. All right. so let me get the steps for installing this. I wanted this to be very organized for you guys because I tried recording this a couple of times and basically I don't want this to be unorganized. All right. So first off all you need to do is open up your browser. I need you to go into Node.js. All right, install the new Node.js. Basically, it's JavaScript runtime that's built in Chrome and it's responsible basically for building servers and all that. So we could start developing by today. Just download for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Afterwards, then we're gonna go into installing Laravel Mix. Let me get that uh, link over here. I'm gonna put the link down in the description. You guys should uh, go to that link as well. All right, so all you need to do right now is go into your Visual Studio code open up the project of your choice and after installing node by in that first step I showed you guys uh, just make sure you have installed so the node package manager is installed and afterwards do a node V so everything is installed then first off all you need to do is do an npm init y which in it you're just gonna basically be doing this is just initializing the new package.json which is the package.json is basically all the dependencies for your uh, JavaScript project and in this case we're gonna be using Laravel Mix to implement PHP and SAS together as like I said to be compiled over here so all I need you to do is do npm init twice as per the documentation over here just be in your root folder just be in your projects folder do an npm init twice afterwards you're just going to be installing the laravel mix so npm install laravel mix and then save development basically what we're doing over here we're just installing laravel mix and we got the development environment for it so if you're deploying this just make sure to do save instead of the save development that's over here all right afterwards this is going to be the third step guys which is very important we're going to create two new files over here it's going to be called basically webpack.mix.js and webpack.config.js webpack.config.js is basically just does the configuration as per the name and the webpack mix.js is responsible for basically mixing the javascript that we're going to be adding over here in our source folder and inside that source folder that's going to be step number four which we're going to be creating these new files all i need you to do is just uh let me delete that all right let me create a new one and show you guys Yep. So just give me a second, just being deleted. Right now we're going to be getting an error over here because we're not going to be finding the files. But again, continue from this. We're just going to be installing the Laravel mix and afterwards just doing the webpack mix.js, config.js, copy and paste the code that I added in the git commit. And also I'm going to be adding the code in the description. Just give me a few more moments until uh, we're just deleting this uh, folder all right all right I think my visual studio code is a little bit slow so I'm gonna go and delete that and that's gonna be basically in your HT docs exempt all right I think it just needs some permission yeah yeah delete permanently oh my god it took a long time man. all right so source and then another folder called distribution and inside it you were just going to create an app.scuz and a new file app.js all right 
so in it let's do echo no uh, let's do console.log I'm sorry hello we just installed Laravel mix successfully and now we're compiling uh, the JavaScript all right of course just disregard right now the text I'm adding but I just wanted to show you what's gonna happen alright so if I do control s over here and then go to localhost WordPress right now the styles are gone because I deleted the old one but if we do body and then background color to black alright it's basically gonna render that file alright it's gonna be, I'm sorry compile that file into that new app.css and the new app.js right so basically guys this is how you install Laravel mix and again if you wanna override bootstrap 5 uh, styles as you can see here I already overrid that but let me show you uh, the difference uh, the different right now uh, uh, bootstrap 5 styles override alright so if we go into Bootstrap 5 override Caruso. Alright, so I'm actually going to do the video in the next video because this video is too long. Alright, so guys, thanks so much for watching. Comment and like, subscribe, and see you in the 22th video where I'm going to show you how to override uh, the variables of Bootstrap 5. Alright, thank you guys so much and see you in the next video. Peace.